Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm gonna do another edition of the look lottery. I think my first video I called it makeup drawing because I didn't have a good name for it. My friend came up with the look lottery and I like it a lot. So this is the look lottery. And if you didn't see the first video, it's I have ideas, different challenges in here. I either got them off Pinterest, I got them off of YouTube, as my husband, my friend. So different ideas, different challenges I could do. So I draw something out and I do the challenge. I think it's really cool and it's really fun. Kind of just uh, on the spot kind of look. So see what I get today. And the color green. I'm gonna try to think of some kind of look that I haven't done before. I don't wanna say all the color green because I don't wanna use just one color, but it has to be prominently green. So I'll go get the stuff and I'll be right back. You know what's so funny is my nails are green too. <laughs> that was really an accident. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start by priming my eyelids. And I'm using the Believe Beauty eyeshadow primer. You can't see it. So I'm thinking, I think I'm gonna do dark, just cause that's my favorite kind of look to do. But I think I'm gonna take the green right here. I think I'm gonna take this green right here called Lucky and put it like in my crease and up a little bit higher for like a transition shade. And I'm using this Miss Glam, this Miss Glam brush that I got from Ipsy this month. So I'm going to Lucky and just sweep it through here Not, I don't really have like a real plan here. Kind of have an idea. I was thinking I would do a, a halo eye, but ever since I did my first my first look lottery video, I've been so excited to do another one. I think it's such a fun idea. I really like trying to come up with something on the spot. It's fun. I'm gonna go in with this Profusion brush that came in my Wonderlust palette. And I think on their website, you can buy these brushes. I don't know if you're in singles or not, but I looked at their website because I'm really interested in buying some of their brushes. I'm going into the Revolution Tropical Carnival palette into this black here. It's number 18. They have names, but the names are kind of hard for me to pronounce some of them. So it's just easier for me to do the numbers. And I'm just going to throw it out here and darken this up a good bit. Pack the black on right here. How you doing, buddy? I'm gonna use this crease brush from Mata Pro and get put some black right here because I think I am gonna do yeah like a halo eye. I'm going into the Coastal Scents Creative Me palette into this green here. It's called Shamrock Green. And I'm just gonna fill in the middle of that there. Just gonna use the the smudger brush on this Mata Pro crease brush. Going back into the Revolution palette with the black, and I'm just going to try to blend them together. I'm trying to lighten this green up some because it's kind of dark. Okay, going back into the Perfusion Spectrum palette to Lucky, and I'm just going to start about halfway and blend up so I can try to blend into this green that I put on a minute ago. I usually stick to about the same brush, but I have a towel on my lap that I usually just brush it off of just to clean it off, because if not, especially using that black, it would all be muddled together. Just going back over the, the shamrock green from Creative Me, blending it back in with the black. Do you think it's possible to hold all these in one, at one time? <laughs> blend out this line. So now I'm just trying to blend everything so there's no harsh lines anywhere. Make this black a little darker. Now from this Revolution Tropical Carnival palette, I'm gonna go in with this color here. It's called Calypso. It looks almost yellow in the camera, but it's a, it's like a green. So I'm gonna take it on my with my pinky, and it, it looks a little greener that way, and throw it right in the middle of this. Ooh, that looks cool. Honestly, I was starting to be a little unsure about this about this look for a second, but. That looks really cool. For my eyeliner, I'm going to use the Doll Face Define Line. Hmm. 
there was a piece of paper in my hair. How long has that been there? This reminds me of um, my Halloween eye makeup. I was Oogie Boogie. Okay, I think I'm gonna go do my foundation. I think I'm about done with my eyeshadow already. I don't know, they're uneven. I'm going into the Revolution Tropical Carnival palette. This green here, number 17. And I'm just dusting it over it. Um, to try to change that color a little bit. Then I'm gonna go back over with that number one color, that shimmery green, to brighten it back up some. Here's that number one color. Just to throw it back on top. I think that really made it, that green pop there. Going in with the black. Try to blend that back out. Really all I'm doing now is just taking all these colors, green and then black, then green and black, trying to get them to blend how I want and to be as bright as I want. Okay, so I think I'm going to go do, I'm going to do my foundation and my eyebrows and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So for my um, face, I did the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and then I used the Koki Skin Perfect HD Foundation. I like this a lot. For powder, I use the Cody Airspun. I set right here where I crease. I set where my glasses sit, and then I dust it on the rest of my face just to set the foundation. Then for blush, I use the AOA Studios Perfect Blush in Looker. I think this is so pretty. I like it a lot. For my highlighter, I used the Koki Soft Glow Highlighter. I think it is so pretty. For one, it's so pretty. Two, this packaging is beautiful. <laughs> I like this a lot. And then for my eyebrows, I use the Profusion Good Eyebrow Day. It's a pencil and then a gel. Okay, so now I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do underneath my eyes. Also use the Believe Beauty You're Covered Liquid Concealer. It is really the only concealer that I can find that looks okay under my eyes. I, don't, I can't make anything else look good. <laughs> but this, this one and then the, which I don't use a whole lot of different, I have never really tried a whole lot of different concealers. Maybe that's my problem, <laughs> but I just, I never remember to use it, so I don't remember to buy it. I, I, I had to remember this time because I was using such dark colors. Any darkness I had under my eyes would be more noticeable with darker colors on top, especially a green. <laughs> so I used um, that can, the Blue Beauty Concealer. Now I'm going to take, this is the AOA Studios Gel Eyeliner, getting my waterline down here. I like using this AOA Studio Pencil for my waterline because I can't, I don't really have any other pencils that last a long time right there, but this lasts a long time. Most pencils I have wear off pretty quick. This is actually a really good one for on top of your eyes too. I feel like it lasts, lasts a long time. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the Smoky Eye Brush from Mata Pro and in the top Tropical Carnival palette, go back into the black. I like this cause it's so pointy. And then I'm gonna get down around my on my lower, my lower lash line down there. You want to be careful, careful down there. So you don't want to get too much and it fall out on your foundation if you've done it by now. That highlighter pretty. I think it looks so much better in person than it does on the camera. I think it's beautiful. I'm going to take the shader brush from Mata Pro because it's a little bit pointier on the end. So I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna squeeze it a little bit, make it flatter. I don't know if you can see that. Make it a little bit flatter. Get some of this green, number 17, and then blend it with this black down here on the bottom. That way it makes that black a little smokier and add some green to it. And this looks so cool. I'm gonna use this, this NYX glitter primer, and then I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild glitter palette and throw some of this green in my corner here. This, the way these are on here, they seem kind of dry. They won't stay just like this, so uh, you have to use a glitter primer. It says limited edition. I'm pretty sure um, I got it at Target during Halloween, I think. I know I just want to use a little tiny bit. So I put some on my pinky, like I should have showed you. Like you can't even see, it's not a lot. It's barely any, and I'm gonna, I'm just trying to dry it down some just because you just want it to be barely tacky. Okay, and I'm actually going to use the little tiny sponge that came with it. Go into the green and just dab it on. I feel like I have more control with my with this for something this intricate. Oh, 
That looks so cool. Also, I do want to say, they, they say not to use these around your eyes because it's, it's bigger glitter and it can scratch your eyes. So I would say don't use it around your eyes. <laughs> it even says it on the back here. Oh my gosh, I love how that turned out. I think that's so cool. Okay, and then for my mascara, I'm using the Dollface Fast Faux Mascara because I need these eyelashes to be dramatic. So this, this mascara is a little clumpier than I like. It does make my eyelashes thicker, so. I'm gonna go back into the Tropical Carnival palette with this num this color here. It's number one. I'm gonna throw it under my brow as a highlighter. I don't quite think, I don't think that's shiny enough. Hmm, it's not quite as bright as I wanted it. So I'm gonna go into the Profusion Spectrum palette with the color Lucky which I know is already up there anyway, but I'm just gonna bring it up a little bit more. It's not as shiny as I want it, so. We'll just bring that all the way up. Then with this smudger brush from Mata Pro, go into my, the Koki highlighter and just shimmer that up. I still wasn't getting the shimmer that I want, but I got it now. It took me a minute, that Koki highlighter. And it, obviously, it's a highlighter. It put a highlight up there. But it wasn't quite as bright as I wanted it, so I got it with the Wonderlust palette. This color here called Illusion. That's what I was looking for. Oh my gosh, I love this. And you know me, I just want a gloss, so I'm gonna go in with the Tarte H2O gloss, and I think it's Sail Away. I think that's the shade of it. And Sail Away. I got this from Ipsy. Oh, it smells so good. And it really just matches the color of my lips. <laughs> it's got a little bit of a tint to it. I love this color and I love lip gloss, so this is perfect. <laughs> okay, and here's the look. I think it turned out so cool. I don't normally do a whole lot of green looks, but I really like how it turned out. I'm usually just so stuck on purple or like, um, like a red, I, always. That's my favorite things to do but I love how this green turned out. I like it a lot. I can't stop moving my head and looking at that glitter in the corner of my eyes. <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone's doing well. If you like this look lottery, like this video, I love doing this. I think it's so fun. If you have ideas so I can put in it, my niece wrote me the other day on Instagram and gave me a few ideas, so I'm gonna add them to my cup. And um, while I was sitting here, I thought of another idea, so I'll add it to my cup. I think that's just a fun a fun thing to do. I think it got really bright in here. The sun came out. I just really like um, trying to come up something come up with something on the spot. So I um, hope everyone's doing well, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.